Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the standard Omnitrix from the Ben 10 Reboot. This is the cheaper option and even comes in a package that's very similar to the standard figures. In fact, when I got them, I almost thought I didn't get this because it was mixed in with them so well. So anyway, um, here it is. Look-wise, it's actually a little bit more reminiscent of the original release Deluxe Omnitrix in terms of look. Um, it's just a little bit more sleek. Um, that's maybe not the right word, but it's just kind of more fitting of the proportions of the show. It looks a little more show accurate. Um, here it is next to the deluxe version right here. It's honestly kind of like the newer version of getting the deluxe Omnitrix and then the digital one just in terms of looks, whereas the digital one was more bulky. And I just kind of preferred the way that the original deluxe Omnitrix was in terms of look. I kind of wish we had the features of this with the sort of build of the original Omnitrix from the Bandai toy line, but this is Playmates doing it now. But so it's a little more accurate. As you can see there, you have the, the traditional Omnitrix symbol and you have the alien selector up here at the top so you'll be selecting like that um, which is all, again reminiscent of the original series one uh, but in this case the little selectors on top instead of the bottom maybe it's just a personal preference but I thought it felt more natural at the bottom um, but so it, it throws me off all the time you also get the plastic strap here instead of the fabric one this is kind of the material I wanted on this one but just like larger so have this material but enough that it sort of feels more like a gauntlet as they had in the original series, but so yeah, and it does fit your wrist if you're skinny or obviously a kid. So anyway, this thing's pretty basic. Well, let me just talk about what's going to happen when I turn it on in a second. That makes it sound like it's something to get prepared for, but when you turn it on, it'll just make basic activation noises, and then when it's pressed up, you select an alien and then press it down, and each time you press it down, you will get a different uh, alien noise. This button does nothing, um, so let's just go ahead and do that. We'll start, I guess, with, I think this heat blast we're at, just to be sure. Yeah, heat blast, so... So you get those activation noises and you can see it's, uh, it has lighted up and it will stay lighted up so long as you have it on, which is kind of neat. I'm sure it's more of a battery drain than the ones that time out immediately instead of a long time from now. But it's just kind of cool to have it on all the time in terms of like, just look. And again, like with the Deluxe, I really like the look of the light. It looks very alien-like and they did a good job with the brightness and everything. So... Who ordered the butt cake Fireball Blast! You think that's hot stuff? Wait till you see what I'm cooking up! Time for Heat Blast! So th that one is more... So as you can see, it's just a set amount of phrases, kind of like the deluxe, except there's fewer of them and it's a little bit easier to, to get to all of them. And when you press it down, it will not stay down. It's just like a single button press, like actually like a standard button. It doesn't lock in. Like I said, this does nothing for being able to press it back up. Okay, and there's no, as you can hear, nothing. Uh, there's no selection noises. So here we got Stinkfly. Well, look at the time. Gotta fly. Oh yeah. Who's Stinky? Stinkfly. Smell you later. I'm Stinkfly, and I'm here to kick Oops. your tail. Jump the gun a little bit. Well, look at the time. Gotta fly. Oh yeah. Who's Stinky? Stinkfly. All right. Upgrade. Alright, oh, I think, did I skip one? No, I didn't. Uh, next is, I believe this is Wild Vine. Yes. Okay, accelerate. So this one is much more consistent in a row in terms of sounds. Gray matter. You know how it is. Alright, Diamond Head. Keep wanting to say water hazard again. Overflow. Thirsty? We're all washed up. Overflow. The original underwater overachiever. Woohoo! Thirsty? <laughs> okay. Thirsty? 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 Thir
Okay, cannonball. Cannonball coming through. Let's have a ball, alien scum. Sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches. <laughs> Bring it on. Cannonball coming through. Forearms. You guys want to rumble? Forearmed and ready for battle. They call me Forearms. Yeah! You guys want to rumble? Okay, and I think we, we started with Heat Blast, right? No, we, are we done? Yeah, we started with Heat Blast. Heat Blast? Who ordered the butt kick flame? Yeah. Fireball okay. Flame. So that is pretty much it, honestly. Um, overall, for like being the less expensive one, this thing's actually pretty solid. Um, I like that it has actually a fair amount of phrases to it. Like I said, I like the light. It's basically like... Uh, the original Deluxe Omnitrix, a bit of a lighter version. In fact, I think this would be really nice, and I would like it maybe even in some ways a smidge more over the Deluxe if it just had a simple transformation noise at one point uh, before you accessed the uh, sound bites. Um, but yeah, overall, for a cheaper one... There's the timing out sounds, I was gonna mention in a minute. Um, but uh, overall, this thing's honestly not bad, and it's a nice cheaper alternative. My only real complaints being, I wish it had a transformation noise, and I wish the selector was on the bottom, but that second one's more of a personal preference. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see um, it, if should the series continue long enough, if we get a third Omnitrix, as I said, I'm sure we probably will, and it'll be, be nice to see one that sort of incorporates the best of both worlds for that. But anyway, until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Rider signing out. I said until next time, Twice. But that means till two next times.